So you find yourself wondering, can you keep shrimp in a bowl? And the answer to that question is yes. But there's more to it than that. In this video, I'm going to explain how we can go about keeping shrimp healthy when we keep them in a bowl or vase. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Richard and I'm a fish and shrimp breeder based in the UK. So a quick look over my left shoulder will show you that I do keep, in this case, red cherry shrimp and yellow shrimp in both bowls and vases. But to do so, there are a number of factors I need to take into consideration. Now, if you've done any research into shrimp keeping, you will know that shrimp love stability. They like their water to remain stable. They're not good when conditions fluctuate massively. Now, the problem we have here when it comes to bowls or vases is they typically hold a very small volume of water. The smaller the volume of water, the more difficult it is to keep that water stable. It's actually far easier to maintain a fish tank that contains 5,000 gallons than one which contains only five gallons. And these vases typically contain one, one and a half or two gallons of water, which is not a great deal. So if we're gonna keep shrimp or even sometimes fish in a vase or a bowl, we have to make sure we work hard at keeping the water stable. So how do we go about doing that? Well, unfortunately, most vases and bowls are too small for a filter and they're too small for a heater. So keeping the temperature stable, we need to make sure we keep our vase or our bowl somewhere where the temperature doesn't fluctuate wildly. Now in my setup here, typically, because of all the other tanks I have around, the temperature does remain stable. I don't need to keep a heater in those bowls or vases. They typically stay in the mid 70s Fahrenheit, which is in the low 20s centigrade. What I couldn't do would be to keep one of these on a windowsill, because during the day when the sun pours in, the temperature in the bowl would rise, and at night when it's a lot cooler, the temperature would drop. The water temperature would fluctuate far too much during the course of the day, and that wouldn't be healthy for the shrimp. Now again, when it comes to maintaining the water, bowls and vases are typically too small for filters. So we can't run a sponge filter or a hang on back filter on a vase. So you'll notice the one thing my vases all have in common is lots of live aquatic plants. And live aquatic plants are essentially nature's filter. They absorb ammonia, nitrites, nitrates. They absorb all of those things that are bad for the shrimp out of the water, keeping the water cleaner and healthier so the shrimp can live in it without suffering stress and suffering from diseases. But plants alone won't keep the water completely clean. I also have to carry out regular water changes. Once a week, I drain about 50% of the water from each of these vases and top it back up with fresh dechlorinated tap water that I've got from the tap at about the same temperature. I wouldn't want to pour ice cold tap water into there because again, the water would, the temperature of the water would fluctuate far too much. Now, another factor I have to take into account when keeping shrimp in bowls or vases is not overfeeding them. When we feed our shrimp or our fish, any food that doesn't get eaten tends to just rot away. And as it rots, it releases ammonia. And ammonia is highly toxic to shrimp. Under normal circumstances, the bacteria living in our filters would convert that ammonia to nitrite and then to the far less toxic nitrate. But we're not running a filter. And whilst that same bacteria does live on the on the glass of the bowl and on the substrate and on the leaves of the plants and the rocks and the wood it doesn't colonize in the same numbers as it would in a filter a filter is basically the perfect environment for beneficial bacteria to live in and without a filter we don't have the perfect location for those bacteria to live and grow and multiply and keep our aquarium water free of ammonia and nitrites and nitrate so I have to feed little and often, and I really do feed them probably five or six times a day, one or two pellets, and they'll consume that in its full within two or three hours, and then I might put another one or two, and again, they'll consume those. And that's one way in which we can keep shrimp in a bowl or a vase. Now, another parameter we need to be aware of when we keep shrimp in a bowl or a vase is the amount of dissolved oxygen in the water. Again, in a regular aquarium where we're running a filter, We've got almost constant surface agitation and surface agitation allows carbon dioxide build up in the water to be released into the atmosphere and fresh oxygen to be absorbed back in to the aquarium for the fish and the shrimp to use to breathe. 
But when we're not running a filter, we don't get the surface agitation. So again, we have to make sure we grow plenty of live aquarium plants because during the day when the lights are on, the live aquarium plants absorb carbon dioxide from the aquarium water and release oxygen back into the water for the shrimps to be able to use to breathe. Again, pretty much the same as plants do on dry land for us humans to breathe. To be able to successfully keep a shrimp in a bowl or a vase, in my experience, you really do need as many live plants as possible to give that water as much dissolved oxygen as possible to keep the fish and the shrimp healthy. Now there is one real crucial fact you need to be aware of if you're gonna keep shrimp in a bowl or a vase. Now shrimp, as we all know, when you keep at least one male and one female together, they will typically breed readily. And a female shrimp can have 30, 40, 50 babies every four to six weeks. There's no way a bowl or a vase of this size could, could sustain a population of two, three, 400 shrimp. In fact, in most of these, I've only got between five and 10 shrimp. So I do have to be aware of that. And I do have to constantly keep the shrimp population under control. I can't afford for it to spiral out of control. If I had two or 300 shrimp in a bowl this size, I would essentially just constantly have hundreds of dead shrimp. There's no way the ecosystem can survive with that many shrimp. So you do have to be aware that if you're gonna set up a bowl or a vase for shrimp, you will have to constantly keep the population under control. And the easiest way to do that is just to keep scooping out the babies as and when. When, you do, when I do my water changes, I typically get my small shrimp net, scoop out as many babies as I can find, pop them in the other tanks, and then keeps the population down and keeps the whole system working. On the face of it, having a small bowl or vase with a few shrimp in might seem like the op easy option. Many people think it's easier to keep a small bowl than it is a large fish tank. And in fact, the opposite is true. I probably have to put more effort into these three, three containers, these bowls and vases, than I do many of the rest of the tanks added together. But it's so much fun. It's such a pleasure. It's so enjoyable to do. Keeping shrimp in a bowl or a vase adds an extra dimension to the whole hobby. Now, generally speaking, I don't recommend keeping fish in bowls or vases. They're typically too small. Although I do have a cheeky pair of male guppies in this vase just here. But again, that requires a lot of water changes and an awful lot of live plants to keep it healthy and, and, and keep the fish happy and well. Generally speaking, I wouldn't recommend keeping fish in a vase or a bowl. Just stick to the shrimp. Now, if you are new to shrimp keeping and you're just either doing your research or you've just got your shrimp and you're trying to find out the best way to keep them and keep them healthy and breed them, etc., why not check out this video, which is my seven essential tips for new shrimp keepers. Thanks for watching.